Amigos, welcome back to our channel, Atrocities Upon Cities, where as always you see a progression of every day. Welcome back to the commercial mess. This is Hobby Lobby. You guys remember we have two commercial accounts, Hobby Lobby and State of Brothers, but this is one of the areas that is infested with trash. There's a family that's homeless out here and they make their mess. I guess this is why one of the reasons they're homeless, you know, they don't know how to take care of even the outside world. So it's just things that happen, fellas. You know, so we come out here, you guys can tell that we try hard to make sure it maintains but it's a big parking lot and you know we've been here four years we've been asking them to give us an extra day but they just don't seem to want to you know they'd rather complain and say we don't do such a great job but they still have us here so we'll continue to show you what it comes with you know we'll walk around and this is the very back we go in the front and as always we got to make sure that the front is looking spotless the back they don't care so much only a couple every three months or when a new manager's in they care to say something about the back but I always tell them hey give us a second day and the back will be taken care of it's already enough to in front and back but you guys can tell we walk around make sure that we put all the rocks back in and we do different things and we don't really touch the trees we stopped touching the trees two years ago so like that they would figure out that you know anything over eight feet it says on our scope of work or in our contract that we're not supposed to even be touching but sometimes you start jobs and you're not really familiar with what you're supposed to be doing nowadays when a new manager comes and they see all this mess they see us try to pick it up they try to you know give us some leniency but this is another side of Hobby Lobby. I go by. I just do what we always do best. We go ahead and we start taking care of all the weeds we walk by at the beginning of spring there was weeds everywhere but a couple of my friends and people that i hired came out here helped us pull most of the weeds and here we are still battling on battling them you know you guys can see that whatever is here is pretty big because it's been about two three months that i don't walk this area to make sure that i pull weeds i blow it i blow it every week and i pull the papers i see the weeds uh, but i just let them be because you know that i don't have time to do that they want to make sure i pick up all the papers if not that's you know there's things that we must do continuously and if we don't get those things done first then there's no time for other things and that's what we try to fight amigos so we'll continue to show you a little bit more and then we'll go on to the sod preparing job Amigos, you guys all remember the saw job? We started it on a Saturday morning and it's already Tuesday. We're already working on different things out here. You guys, we're going to make sure that we finish it on Wednesday. So hopefully you either see a late video Wednesday or probably Thursday morning of the saw job. We'll be out. This is already Wednesday, I'm sure, when it's out. So you guys can see how much I've picked. I've been spraying. I've been doing weed stuff for lawns. I'll put it on the next video with different things that we do. We've been picking and getting the areas with the crabgrass gone. You guys can see the soft dirt. I'm going to bring in more dirt already. We wrote it till we picked. We did whatever it takes to make sure that it looks good and it grows best. We're going to be running the sprinklers next. So we're going to go start a new job, you know. You will continue. This is a good friend of mine. We've been, he even worked for us a couple years ago, but this is the way it works, you know he's very excited he bought a house very nice like always so your houses come with the dead trees and things you didn't want this was like a zebo he said he didn't like it because it had a little lean to it so he went ahead and knocked it all down made a huge pile and then made a little post that he needed someone to help him i quickly um put on his post hey man we can help you remembered who i was right away look at it right away we picked it up all we're here to do is pick up the hauling you know there's a couple areas that were still left to pick up but you guys can see all the palms and the doors a catchy can was always helpful he did a great job cleaning up himself we were just here to do all the big stuff and nice and blown and there you have it fellas there's a couple areas he said he'd make another pile and hopefully invite us again so different things we'll show you a little bit of the dump you guys saw the beginning the big machine but we use our truck and trailer and we get things done out here fellas I didn't even show you what it looks like full but the trash is way over there somewhere you know so everybody there's the dump out here and there was a nice little um, memorial for veterans out there for the voting day so AUC amigos thanks for everybody that watches